Today, we're repairing a rusted out exhaust. This is the after work garage. This muffler was installed by a shop a number of years ago. And as you can see, wherever it was welded, it rusted really badly because of the salt we have here. Um, and it's finally, at this joint, let go. Um, and there's an exhaust hanger here that doesn't look like it's doing too good because underneath it's uh, all eaten out as well. Um, but I noticed an exhaust leak sound. Uh, this is so far back, it actually was more of a a whooshing sound than a loud sound like you'll sometimes get when uh, an exhaust leak is up close to your engine. Um, but especially at high loads and high RPMs, um, I'd get this sound. Uh, and even starting up, if I walked around the truck, I could tell there was a little different noise going on. And when I looked under here, this is uh, the problem, clearly. So I think we're going to have to take a look at this and see uh, what we can do in terms of getting this both repaired but also trying to prevent this from happening again in the future. What I'm thinking of is uh, they have this smaller diameter pipe just kind of shoved in here and then weld glommed on all around. Uh, I'm wondering if I can just maybe do, I don't know anything about exhaust, uh, but I'm, I could either do that or potentially um, do like a uh, butt joint and just get a piece of pipe that's this size and see if I can't run that from there up to here. So I did notice that the exhaust was rusting out the other day and I was gonna make a video on it but I got a little busy and didn't get around to repairing it right away and the other day when I was driving down the road I heard this uh, clanking sound I could tell the exhaust note had changed significantly and sure enough my exhaust was just hanging on that one exhaust hanger there dragging on the ground so uh, today we're going to go ahead and reattach this exhaust system to the vehicle. If we look at the exhaust situation here, we have the muffler right there. And then off to the right, we have a mid pipe that leads up to the resonator and eventually the catalytic converters and engine. And if we go over to the left, we see the area that I was pointing out earlier where uh, the shop had welded in a piece of um, exhaust piping and it rusted out completely on the welds so essentially what I have here is a uh, de facto dumped exhaust and while I could just kind of cut this off and add a piece that has just a, uh, a tip on it that deflects the exhaust downwards and then I'd have an actual dumped exhaust I'm not a big fan of the idea uh, of the noise that that might lead to when I'm towing a boat in terms of uh, in-cab drone as it is right now you can see a prime reason not to leave it this way because what's happened here is um, the parking brake cable has started to melt away because of the heat of the exhaust coming straight onto it. So I definitely have to do something about this and I've been bad and drove around a little bit with it like this and I really need to uh, fix it up sooner rather than later. So here's my plan. Well I do have the option of just uh, cutting this off here, welding a new piece on and uh, calling it good while it's on the truck. I, I want to avoid this happening in the future, so when I weld a new piece in here, what I'm going to do is also paint the welds with a high temperature exhaust paint. And to make this a lot easier, I'm actually going to go ahead and separate the exhaust right back at this joint so that I can pull out this little piece of um, mid pipe and the muffler and then weld the new piece and the um, exhaust out outlet uh, in the shop. But this does mean that I'm going to have to measure. So I'm just going to measure from uh, where I'm going to cut here to uh, I'm going to rehang that piece that fell off and measure how long a piece I need to insert. And then I'm going to come over, bring that piece over here and mark my cuts while it's on the truck so that hopefully once it's welded back up, um, everything lines up. Okay, so what I've done is I've hung this uh, loose end piece back where it originally was. And I'm kind of going to line this up and measure the distance that I need to span with this new piece that I'm welding in. Because I'm going to cut this off right here. So let's go ahead and try to get this back where I can imagine it was. 
We'll do ten and a half. We'll call it ten and a half inches from about here to right here because I don't want to cut off more than I have to because this is shaped um, in a particular way though. I wonder if I need to to get rid of this uh, little insert piece here. All right, so here's our piece. Let's go mark it on the truck. Okay, my plan here is to mark my cuts. Cuts I need to make on this piece uh, based on where this piece is cut. If I don't move this, I'm going to cut this piece right here. And then let's move this up to where it was. Match that mark. And we get a mark right there. And so these are at kind of an angle. This pipe is actually going to be at a little bit of an angle. So we're going to be looking at cutting it at a little bit of an angle as well. All right. The next challenge we have is to get this 16 millimeter bolt off uh, so that we can remove the clamp and then the, the uh, muffler section. These are always impossible. And this one's rusted up pretty badly, but uh, all in all, I think we probably, I don't want to jinx it, are going to get it. I am going to start with some heat though because these things are uh, real, real difficult. Terrible angle. But of course I also don't have the truck up on jack stands because when I did that last time, my apartment complex complained about me doing work, so. turning. It's stuck. Very stuck on there though. Oh boy. Well, the clamp's undone. <sighs> Come on. I have to wait for that to cool. Okay, with that clamp I'm done, I'm going to actually drive my truck back to its parking spot. Uh, take this piece off because I don't want to have to drive the truck with the muffler off because uh, I don't want to annoy all my neighbors. If you were wondering why the socket was so stuck on the nut, just look at that. Alright, with this clamp off, now I really need to separate this joint here. As you can see, it's actually already leaking water uh, from the short trip really just turning on my truck and moving it over to a parking spot. Uh, but that, to me, is a good sign that we have a chance of getting this apart. I need to make just a little room here. What I need is room for me. Oh, yeah, that's gonna work. Okay. Let's work on this exhaust hanger. Alright, so it looks like this joint is loosened up. I've 
Went and got some silicone spray. Okay, let's uh, move you out of the way here. I don't want the exhaust to fall on you. And let's start working on this joint. Again, this is the one that uh, helping will just slide out with some convincing. He may be getting it. I think we are. Am I making progress or no? I can't tell. I also can't see it. I took a big little breast glob in the eye. And she's free. In the muffler section off the truck, we can definitely have a better look at what we're dealing with. That's the end that we uh, fought to get out of the mid-pipe muffler. Here's the weld that failed and rusted out. And you can see that with these uh, mufflers, it's just like a diagonal pass-through. It's hard to get a light in there. Um, but my plan's the same. It's just going to be to cut at the mark we marked, and then uh, cut the corresponding mark on this piece and insert our metal tube. So essentially that metal tube is gonna join up right here, take the place of this tube that's uh, rusted out basically on both ends, and connect directly in there. Basically all I've done is made these cuts uh, on the marked lines. As you can see, the tube that was inserted in here is really jammed in there, a little crooked. So I'm kinda glad to be hopefully fixing that. We're still going to have to get this, oh, this is just going to come out, it's hot. That is uh, still hot. Alright, let's uh, see if I can get this out. There we go. That piece is out. And then, if we look over here, this cut was made pretty uh, cleanly, and you can see that we've cut off uh, the inserted pipe area, so no problems there either get sort of a look at this exhaust, how it works. It's just an angled pass-through to the other side. It's kind of heavy, actually. Surprisingly heavy. It's got those holes in there, and there's packing on the other side of those holes. It's like fiberglass or stainless steel wool. That's what helps absorb the sound. With all of our cuts made, we just need to clean up the ends a little bit where the sections are going to join together and we're going to do our welding. So I just ran a grinder around the cut ends uh, to get rid of some of that oxidation on the aluminized steel piping and some of the heavy rust on the rusted sections so that we have a clean surface to weld to. Okay, well, kind of something resembling a clean surface that we probably can weld to. With the cut ends that I'm going to weld together cleaned up just a little bit, uh, now we're into the important part where we're going to have to lay it all out. Get it as close to how it's going to be on the truck as possible so that we can uh, tack it all together and then run a bead weld around it and paint it. So let's see what we can do. When it comes to orientation, I know that this with the exhaust hanger here on this piece is up. Uh, this, if at all possible, we want as uh, level as possible coming out the side of the truck. But the more important thing is gonna actually be to get this piece level because it's the one that slides into that mid pipe. And there's a little less give on the mid pipe in terms of uh, being able to be put in there not level compared to uh, this exhaust piece which actually is only on one hanger so if this ends a little high uh, it can kind of come down a little bit if this ends a little low it can come up a little bit um, but that would just affect the angle of the exit exhaust exit relative to the truck so for cosmetic purposes 
Uh, we'd like to get it as level as possible. Obviously, if it's way off, uh, we're going to have a problem. So since this is the critical piece, I'm going to start by laying this out as level as possible. And then uh, we're going to get that piece laid out relative to it. If you remember on the truck, there was a slight rise to this pipe. I tried to cut it at an angle, but didn't do a very good job on this, uh, this end. So we're going to have to fill a little gap there. But I'm doing my best to approximate how it was situated on the truck. I'm pretty happy with this setup. Before I finish welding all of that, I'm gonna go test fit it on the truck really quick just to kind of see how it fits. Um, and I will be right back. Test fitting on the truck went well. I didn't hang it all the way up there or slide it all the way into the mid pipe, but I did get a chance to hold it up next to where it's gonna go and the dimensions looked like they were pretty close. So I went ahead with welding up the rest of these joints. Nothing special here. I will note that the pipe that I bought, which was three inch exhaust piping, was significantly thicker than the stock pipe that's on the truck. So I had to be a little careful as I was welding. I was surprised at how easily I could burn through the original luminized pipe uh, that was on the truck. But taking that into consideration, I was able to work in short bursts and pretty easily get these joints welded together, uh, including filling in a bit of a gap on the bottom there uh, where I didn't quite get the angle of the cuts on the pipes correct. It's not the prettiest, but it's together and Certainly looks prettier than it did when it came off the truck. I had a little extra weld there just because I figured a little extra metal couldn't hurt. At the very least, it'd be more to rust through next time. But to prevent rusting on the outside at least, uh, in uh, response to the salt and the road and everything, what I'm going to do is put a high temperature paint on here. It's not going to be pretty, but it's going to be protective. As far as paint goes, I'm going to go with this high temperature uh, exhaust rated paint it says it's good up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit so you know this part of the exhaust system isn't gonna get near that hot so I figure it should be good uh, let's just go throw it on like I said it's just for protection of those welds against uh, the road salt and water I got the welded joints painted up here. Um, as you can see, the paint's still drying. As it dries, it turns into this uh, powdery look. It is stuck on there, but according to the can, it needs to get high heat, like upwards of three, 400 degrees, that sort of bakes that on there. So I guess it's kind of like a uh, powder coat mix type thing. I'm not sure what it is that would glaze on once it gets hot. Um, that's just for added durability. Now, I only did these joints where I welded because this aluminized steel here is already pretty resistant to uh, rust, as you can see by the rest of the tubing. This is actually thinner metal than this 3-inch tubing. This is, I could tell while I was welding, it's significantly thicker. It uh, wasn't burning through. This, I had to be a little careful uh, because it was burning through a little bit if I got it too hot. But I'm not too worried about this metal rusting out. It's really just the mild steel where uh, I welded that I'm trying to cover up to make sure it doesn't get all corroded at least from the outside. We have the exhaust over there laid out and what I'm going to do is here's the connection uh, in front of the muffler but I'm going to need to thread the rest of the exhaust over the back axle and then slide it in there. I'm going to grab a little silicone spray just because we might need it to get those exhaust hangers on without much fuss uh, but I will be right back. Here you can see that I pushed ahead with getting the exhaust mostly installed. Of course, I forgot to turn the camera on while I was doing this, but the lighting was terrible anyway since I was using camping lanterns in a parking lot. Uh, this also meant that I couldn't see very well, and at the time actually I thought the length of pipe that I had inserted uh, perhaps was too short because the exhaust wasn't fitting in uh, properly. It was hot, there were bugs. And I got frustrated and decided that this was going to be a problem I was going to solve the next day. In the daylight, we can much more clearly see what's going on here. If you look there, that exhaust hanger is not all the way in. I thought it was hard up against there and uh, the exhaust was too short. It turns out it's actually the right length. 
The problem is that the exhaust isn't going back into that joint as easily as I thought it could. What I've done is, uh, you know, just taken off this little exhaust band clamp. I ordered a new one. It's not here yet. Um, and we're going to try to mess with this get it back in there. Getting this exhaust seated all the way back into the joint was basically like my experience trying to get it out of the joint and involved a lot of twisting and pushing and twisting and pushing. If anyone knows an easier way to do this, please let me know in the comments. After a fair bit of pushing, we can see that our joint is in place there. Still gonna need to wait for the new band clamp to come in and get that joint clamped up, but this exhaust hanger is straight, sitting where it should be, and our repair looks nice there. Going back over the axle, and then coming back here, we can see this exhaust hanger is back where it should be, and it's, uh, you know, all the way where it needs to be in, in there, and our exhaust is in a normal position again, back in the truck. I have been waiting for a band clamp, a replacement band clamp to come in forever and it turns out they're back ordered and my local auto parts stores also seem to have them on back order so for the time being I'm actually going to have to replace uh, replace the clamp with the one that I took off that's I had planned to throw away, in fact I just dug it out of the trash. As you can see it's definitely not in good condition. Uh, these are the parts you know that go here and hold the bolt. What I am going to do is if you remember that nut was completely ruined, I'm going to replace it with a new nut and well, we'll hope it holds for now until the other ones come back into uh, into stock. Trying to put it on there clearly wasn't going to work. I did some hammering, got it sort of back into a round shape and let's try to put it on there again. The problem is this is bent, so it's not fitting quite on there like it to. Boy, if I knew I had to save this thing, I would have uh, been a little more careful taking it off. Look at that. It's almost like it will stay there. Maybe. I'm gonna break that off if I keep going our time. Alright, we'll call that good. Alright, we're not leaking there. We're looking good. Here's the area where our repair is. It's the bottom side, so this is the side I filled in that gap with some weld. Uh, but it's not leaking at all with rock solid. And we have that other area there. I'm not hearing any gas escape, so. All right, the last step here is just to take it for a little drive. Um, I'm gonna get it on the highway, get it up to temperature uh, to get the paint set on that exhaust because it said that it needed to actually heat up to over 400 degrees, uh, 300, 400 degrees to set up properly to be more durable. Um, furthermore, it said that there might be some uh, odor associated with the curing of the paint, so might as well burn that one off before, you know, I go to the store, try to park it somewhere and someone complains about my truck smelling bad. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on the After Work Garage.